Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Igo Rar, and welcome to Let's Araxium, the show where I wave my planet side e dick around for the entire internet to see. And today we're going to be taking a look at the CME, an assault rifle available to the Vanu sovereignty. Now, before we begin, as I'm sure some of you are wondering, where the hell did you go, Rar? Well, that'll be answered in due time, because right now, I gotta wave this bad boy around. So if you give me a moment here and just, uh, let me uncoil it, and, uh, ooh, that's a lot of dust. Hang on, let me, uh, just get the vacuum cleaner here, and, uh, oh, ooh, hey, <laughs> ooh, well, that's better than the microwave grapefruit trick, that's for sure. Starting off with a fire rate of 652 rounds a minute, a damage model of 143 damage up to 10 meters, dropping off to 125 damage at 65 meters, and a velocity of... yes. The fire rate and damage model on this gun is extremely common amongst many weapons in Planetside, and the special little bit of spice this weapon got is a whole shitload of travel speed. 670 meters per second is extremely high, beating the speed of most sniper rifles, and that's without the high velocity ammo attachment. But as we'll be discussing later, this spice is kind of like salting your ramen noodles. Next is the reload speed of two seconds short and 2.3 seconds long and a magazine size of 30 rounds. Now, assault rifles tend to be a bit slow in the reload department and this gun definitely has one of the better ones out there. Just a shame it's gonna be on a weapon you'll probably reloading from cover most of the time anyways. I mean, you know, nice feature, but bit overkill. Hmm, hang on, I'm sensing a theme here. Where's my salt shaker? I keep it at my desk at all times in case I have to go living and I should be right here and fuck. Who's been fucking with my salt shaker? When it comes to the recoil of the CME, the total amount generated per shot is about what you would expect from a slow firing weapon like this, but the inconsistencies in the recoil, ugh, Jesus. Minor variations in angle, minor variations in the amount of horizontal kick. The angle of the horizontal recoil is unusually sharp for a long range weapon like this. Double recoil on the first shot every time you pull the trigger. I mean, most long range automatic weapons tend to have one or two negatives like this, but all of them all together on the same gun? It's unusual, but you know, not every weapon can be the Pulse RC, so let's move on. When it comes for my recommendations for attachments on this gun, the forward grip is an absolute must. The compensator's pretty good, but you can do without it for a while if you're hurting for the certs. High velocity ammo is also another must have because hey, there ain't no ridiculous like fucking ridiculous. And when it comes to sights, it's always a matter of preference, but I do recommend the 2X or the 3.4, and I'm not a fan of the 1X on this gun. that brings us to our final question, is this gun worth your time? And I know I've set myself up to take a big old dump on this weapon, but the truth is, it's not a bad little gun. A solid 6 out of 10, and that's not an IGN 6 out of 10, no. That is an honest to god, slightly above average. 6 out of 10. Let's start with the positives and work our way down. The CME's defining trait is without a doubt its insanely high velocity. Its ability to put 5 to 7 rounds down range where you want them is really damn good and most players shouldn't have an issue trying to hit their targets consistently at medium to long ranges. Where the CME begins to struggle is when the weapon's velocity isn't enough. I mean, sure, 670 meters per second is a lot of velocity, but you know, this ain't no Call of Duty man's laser pointer bullshit hit scan weapon. You're going to have to lead your targets at some point. Inconsistent recoil, high first shot recoil multiplier, all while you're trying to shoot down a moving target at distance, yeah, this is where the effectiveness of the CME starts to take a really big nosedive, much more so than other weapons that function similar to it. Even in the hands of a skilled player, hitting consistent headshots with this weapon at any range is a bit difficult. Now, don't let the footage on screen fool you, I cherry pick the crap out of the clips I use in my videos, and for every good shot I have, I probably have about 10 of me dinging a heavy in the head once, missing shots 2 and 3, and then just eating a big load of salty shit. Seriously, who's been fucking with my salt shaker? 
The recoil of the CME is just wacky enough that you'll find yourself slipping off your target quite a bit when you're aiming for headshots, even at close ranges. If you've played this game for any length of time, you'll know just how important it is to consistently land headshots with the prevalence of things like nanoweave armor. On top of all of that, I'm one of those spoiled high-level players that get to have a battle rifle in their pocket when they're playing Medic, and it, it just kind of wipes the floor with the CME when it comes to its effective at the mid to long ranges, and both kind of suck up close, CME to a lesser extent, but it, it, it still just doesn't make a lot of sense to use anything either than a high rate of fire primary when you have a battle rifle in your pocket. I can't come up with any other reason other than, you know, logging back in for the first time in years, seeing that you only have 200 kills to go with the weapon and saying, hey, that's an easy way to pump out a video. No, bad rar, we don't say that out loud. In fact, the main reason why all the footage you're seeing here is from my engineer and not the medic is because every time I would get a good clip or a streak going, I'd save the footage, rewatch it, and realize seven out of the eight kills I got were all battle rifle kills. It just, it just makes long range assault rifles feel kind of irrelevant. So to wrap all that information up, it's a solid weapon, but many of its characteristics are counterintuitive to trying to do skillful things, like aiming for lots of headshots, trying to lead moving targets. For anyone that's just starting on the VS, it's a solid weapon, but as time goes on, it becomes less relevant to you as a player, as your arsenal expands, your skills improve, and is pretty much given the nail in the coffin once a battle rifle secondary is available to you. For those reasons, I would say the CME is best suited for newer players who are just still trying to get their bearings in planet side. The weapon eliminates a lot more of the more difficult to master elements of shooting, and you know, nine times out of ten, the simplicity of just being able to put your sights on a target center of mass, drop one or two controlled bursts, it'll get you there. But for the players looking to step up their game, push the limits of what their weapons could do at range, knock off headshots left and right, and just want to feel like they got a big ol' E-dick swinging around in their spandex, well, sorry to tell you, there, there ain't a whole lot of big dick energy to be found here. So anyways, that's it for this time, and uh, yeah, about that whole disappearing act. I'll keep it short and sweet, when it really comes down to it, my reasons for leaving were life got busy, my time became limited, and the game was in a serious nosedive. The arena of which we shall not speak was the moment I thought this game was done. Glad I was wrong. Ever since coming back, I've been kind of shocked by the number of people that remember me. It's oddly humbling and kind of makes me feel like a dick for ghosting everyone, sorry about that. Looking forward, I have more plans for YouTube content, but the big project I want to work towards next is a new outfit on Connery VS. I've gotten together with a bunch of old leaders that I used to work with and we're starting an outfit of our own, Dookie. We don't care about kill-death ratio, old player, new player, just leave that shit at the door. What we do want are individuals who are driven to learn more about the game and work together as a team. So, if you want to drop shit and lasers on your enemies, join up and you'll find the Discord link in our outfit message. Anyways, that's it for this time. My name's Igo Rar, and I'm gonna go find out who's been fucking with my salt shaker. Oh. Oh. I was just sitting on it the whole time.